Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plax's 3D Shallow Foundation course from Theory to Practice. This is uh, lesson 53 and in this example we are going to estimate a consolidation settlement of a multi-story building uh, over a uh, time. So uh, as you can see uh, this figure uh, it uh, will going to be our example we have a superstructure which is a multi-story building and also we have a four uh, sewer layers uh, the first uh, sewer layer is a dense sand and below the dense sand we have soft to medium uh, clay soil below the clay uh, layer we have a very dense sandy soil and uh, below uh, this very dense sand we have a medium hard uh, rock uh, also, uh, the dimension or the height of uh, each uh, sewer layer is uh, are illustrated in the figure, and uh, uh, as we can see, there is a soft to medium uh, clay sewer layer between the two sandy sewer layer. So we are going to estimate a settlement over uh, time, which is a consolidation settlement. Also, uh, the water table is located 5 meters below the ground surface. And we will use a mud foundation for uh, this uh, building. Also, the dimension of the mud is going to be 15 meters by 15. And we have one uh, basement, uh, which is uh, 3 meters deep. Also, the... Uh, we will uh, simulate uh, this uh, superstructure by applying a surface uh, or uniform surface law to the mud foundation, which is uh, estimated as uh, 250 kN per uh, square meter. And uh, in practical, uh, this uh, amount of uh, superstructural load is taken from a structural engineer. So, uh, the example is going to be like this one, uh, the construction uh, stages, we will have a five construction stage. The first construction uh, stage is initial, which calculates uh, due uh, static stresses in uh, soil mass. So after this stage, we will have excavation for basement. As I mentioned before, we have uh, one basement, which is uh, three meter below the ground. So after the excavation, we will uh, construct the mud foundation and basement walls. And after uh, this construction stage, we will uh, start consolidation analysis. So we assume this uh, multi-story building is constructed at 140 days. So after... Uh, this uh, construction phase we will allow uh, the we will allow the poor water pressure to dissipate in uh, the soil mass for uh, 400 days and we will uh, estimate the consolidation uh, settlement as we can see we have four uh, soil layers so uh, regarding the uh, materials for uh, the each uh, soil layers and mud foundation and basement walls. So I click on uh, save project again and we uh, start calculation to decrease the uh, length of the tutorial. I will uh, temporarily pause uh, the video until uh, the calculation is uh, being finished. Okay, as you can see, uh, it's been calculated and uh, we are in the last uh, construction uh, stage As we can see, the 
pore water pressure is uh, dissipated as the M uh, stage closes to 1 ok the calculation is uh, finished and we click on save project again and as we can see all uh, construction uh, stages uh, calculated uh, successfully we do not have any uh, error or warning so we click on uh, view calculation uh, results okay we uh, click on mesh click on material so we can see the maximum uh, settlement uh, after uh, 520 day is uh, about 0 0.092 meters which is uh, which is uh, approximately equal about to 9 uh, centimeter and uh, it depends on uh, foundation engineer and uh, structural engineer to decide whether this uh, settlement is acceptable or not so we can uh, click on deformation uh, total displacement maybe we click on construction of a uh, superstructure we can see uh, the settlement until 120 day is about 0 0.075 uh, uh, meters which is equal 7.5 centimeter and uh, after construction of uh, the superstructure and uh, allowing the water to dissipate in the clay swiller so we see the settlement is uh, increases about uh, 2.5 uh, centimeter so we can also take a section in here maybe click on here and we so we can see uh, this is a uh, displacement contour uh, at a construction of a uh, superstructure uh, phase we after 120 days the maximum uh, settlement is about uh, 7.5 centimeter and uh, after consolidation uh, for 400 days we see the uh, settlement increases uh, from 7.5 centimeters to about 9.2 centimeters also we can uh, check the excess pore water pressure so if we click on uh, maybe this uh, construction phase mud foundation so we click on uh, stresses and uh, pore pressure excess pore water pressure we can see in here uh, the maximum uh, positive uh, pore water pressure is about uh, 27 and uh, minus equal uh, minimum pore water pressure is minus 7.26 kN per square meter in here the uh, the positive uh, sign and the negative uh, signs the negative uh, signs means uh, compression and uh, the uh, positive uh, pore water pressure means uh, expansion or dilation so uh, maybe we click on uh, construction of super uh, structure uh, phase we can see uh, the maximum uh, pore water pressure is about uh, minus 90.6 uh, kilonewton per square meter and uh, if we can uh, take a section in here maybe click on here and if we uh, take a section like uh, this one we can see in uh, here the distribution of uh, the excess pore water pressure we can see its maximum in uh, this region is about minus 88 kilonewton per square meter and the equivalent force of this uh, excess pore water pressure is minus uh, 530 uh, kilonewton uh, so if i uh, we can see the maximum uh, excess pore water pressure happens at uh, this construction phase because uh, the a lot is applied on in uh, at uh, this uh, stage so after consolidation 
for uh, for hundred days, we can see uh, the the maximum pore water pressure is about minus uh, three point six kilonewton per square meter, because in uh, this construction phase uh, we allowed the pore water pressure to dissipate. We allow the water to uh, flow or flow out. Uh, in uh, the soil, uh, clay soil layer. Okay, we can also uh, draw a load displacement curve for uh, the mud foundation over a time. So we click Curve Manager and we click on uh, Create New. So in the X direction, we will uh, select a consolidation time, and in Y direction, we will uh, select the node at the center of the mud foundation, and we will uh, select the settlement in the Z direction. We click OK. OK. Also, I right click on the figure and click on setting. I will do some uh, changes. I don't need uh, these construction phases. I just uh, will uh, check the last two ones. Okay, okay. We can see uh, until 120 days. We can see uh, this is uh, the time where the superstructure uh, is uh, built. So we can see the maximum uh, settlement in this uh, construction uh, stage is about 0 0.075 uh, uh, meter. So after that, we allow uh, the excess, we allow the water to uh, dissipate or excess pore water pressure to dissipate uh, for 400 days. We can see the uh, this is uh, settlement over time. We can see the maximum. Uh, settlement at uh, four at uh, 520 days is about uh, uh, 9.3 uh, centimeters also we can uh, draw the uh, excess pore water pressure over time at the uh, center of the clay layer so again we click on uh, curve manager click on new and in x direction we select a time and in in y direction we will uh, select the node at the center of the clay layer and we will uh, select it as uh, stress pore water pressure and excess pore water pressure again i right click on the figure and setting and i will uh, just uh, take the last two construction phase so we can see in here after construction when construction when constructing the uh, super uh, structure we can see uh, the excess pore water pressure is increases to the maximum which is about minus 8 kilonewton per square meter and after that because we allow the uh, water to flow out we can see the excess pore water pressure again decrease decrease and uh, closes to uh, almost uh, zero okay maybe we uh, save this to uh, these two uh, figures also we can uh, we can check we can we can check the we can check the uh, forces in mud foundation or in uh, basement walls for example, I click on here and double click on the mud foundation and we can uh, check our forces like a moment in one one direction and in a two two direction. We can see in here this is a displacement, sh uh, the uh, moment shape. For example, the moment in uh, one one direction and moment in uh, two two direction. One one and two two is a local uh, coordinate or local axis of uh, the mud foundation. Also, we can uh, uh, click, for example, on uh, one of the basement wall, and we can also check uh, the forces in uh, this basement wall as well. So I will not uh, convert uh, the data to the Excel. I have already uh, converted uh, the data to this Excel uh, spreadsheet. I will uh, also upload it uh, 
in the lesson uh, 53 you can draw the uh, the curve like this one for example uh, the settlement uh, the relationship between the settlement and the time also the relationship between the excess power water pressure with the time i will upload uh, this uh, uh, excel uh, spreadsheet in the lesson okay friends uh, this was uh, for uh, this uh, lesson i hope it was clear and uh, so in uh, the next lesson we will uh, we will have uh, some uh, other examples uh, uh, according to the consolidation analysis using plaxis uh, 3d thank you for watching see you in the next lesson